Viral Science, the home of creativity. Hey friends, welcome back to another video and in this video I'll show you how to make a wireless joystick controlled robocar at home. Now for this project I'll be using my own created joystick controller which we made in the previous video. I'll add the link for that video in the description down below so you can check it out. But don't worry if you don't have this joystick controller then too you can make this project. I've also added uh, easy steps to make this joystick controller on the breadboard. So you can follow that as well and make this project for yourself. So let's get started with this video. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB. JLC PCB is a good quality PCB manufacturing company and also provides SMT assembly services. It holds more than 2 lakh in stock components and provides low cost PCB assembly services in very less time. For discount in prices, you can use the coupon codes added in your accounts for new users and SMT assembly services. I have provided links in the description so you can start ordering your PCBs. So to make this project you will need Arduino boards. This is NRF24L01 transceiver module. This is L29A10 motor driver. This is a joystick controller and a breadboard. And I'm using a 18650 battery and this is the model of the car which I'll be using. So first we'll do the connection of our joystick transmitter. In my case I will be using the joystick controller which I made in the previous video but if you don't have the joystick controller then you can follow this circuit diagram and do the connections on the breadboard itself. So here is the joystick controller which we made in the previous video. I'll share the link in the i button and also in the description. So you can refer this video and you can purchase this type of controller PCB and assemble the components and make one controller for yourself. I'll also share the PCB file as well for this PCB joystick controller. So first we'll upload the code for our joystick transmitter. So connect the Arduino board with the computer and here's the code for it. You need to get this library nrf24l01.h and here's the pin for CE and CSN which I've defined 5 and 6 and here is the analog pin numbers from which we will be sending the data of our joystick to Arduino board. So select the board that is Arduino Nano, select old boot loader, select the port and upload the code. So now this is the circuit diagram of our receiver part of the project and here we are connecting the transceiver module with Arduino board and also the L29A10 motor driver module and we'll also connect the BO motors with our L29A10 motor driver module. So connect all the connections according to this circuit diagram for the receiver part. So you can do all these connections on a breadboard or make one PCB for yourself.
So in my case, I already had these PCBs from my previous project. So I will be using this PCB instead of the breadboard connections. So here I have the NRF24 L01 module connection, the Arduino board and also I have the connection pins for the L29 A10 motor driver module as well. So using these PCBs makes the project much more easier so we don't have to do that messy connections on our project so it becomes very easy for all the connections. So first we'll remove this jumper caps from our L29 A10 motor driver and we'll connect all the connections from L29 A10 motor driver to our PCB board. These are the same connections which I have shown you in the circuit diagram before so you have to follow that only. So here is our two wheel drive car so we'll mount all the connections on the top of this car. So as you can see I've placed the L2918 motor driver and on the other side I've placed the PCB which we made. I'm using a double sided tape to stick it on the top. And I also stick the battery on the bottom side of the car. And with battery I've also connected a switch to turn on and off. So now we'll connect the connections of our motor with the motor driver. So after completing the connections of our receiver section, we'll program the Arduino board. So open the code of the receiver. So here is the code. Here also we are using the NRF24L01 library. And these are the pins which are connected to the L29810 motor driver module. Here we have defined the CE and CSN pin of our transceiver module the pin 9 and the pin 10 and here is the complete code so you just need to select the board select the port and upload the code so now our robocar is completely ready and we are ready to test it So in the joystick section, I am using the Y axis of our left joystick to control the forward and backward direction and it is connected to pin A0 and I am using the X axis of the right joystick and I have connected it to A2 and we are controlling the left and right side moment of the car with it. So friends if you like this project then do hit that like button and share this video with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos and i'll see you in the next one do subscribe and press bell icon to get instant notification for new video